So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a witness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. The snake he's old. The world serpent? Too small. Yeah, but maybe Thor's just really big? Hmm. Unlikely. Mimir, we're on the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Head, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Remembers me. Why are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. Ah, oh, eh. Echo no Tuno Funo. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one on the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, he thought I said you were friends of Odin. 
You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Prepare yourself! Nightmare! Oh, what awful pain! Fire from behind! Last we were in a boat, we had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were a excellent one. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. And we'll pick this up later. You were taken from them too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will... ...reward you. Chisel is ahead past this gate.
without her spirit. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out, look while if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOM! struck his son. Harimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Oh. And what happened next? You'll see. Crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Just give the word. Tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. What happened to this 
survivors. Oh. Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles. What should we do? An all fine light crystal. I wonder what it's for. To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Hey! Part of the road tree sap. That's handy. Well, here's the base for the crystal we saw. But how do we get it down?
can go this way. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Well, no offense and think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right.
Wow, that was uh, something, that that fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> you let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. I'm feeling creative today. And we're back to you. What a surprise. Who knew? Also, remember to breathe. That should tide you over. Come back any time.
We heading into that building? Yes. You think there's something inside that'll help us break the ice and get to the chisel tip? No. Hmm. I'll keep thinking. strong. Come here. You knew this place? Before? I came here on a diplomatic mission once, trying to broker a peace between Asgard and Vanaheim. That war. So many lives lost. What I didn't know was Thor had already gone on a killing spree of giants. What did the giants have to do with the war between the gods? Nothing at all, lad. That's the tragedy of it. They took no side in that madness. But Odin's paranoia is surpassed only by Thor's lust for blood.
Ugh! <sighs> 